come on scoot forward all right so today we're going out bass fishing um a couple lakes here near newego michigan uh one is a little more back in the woods momentarily and then a bigger lake we're gonna try out as well so we'll see how today goes and go from there Probably scratching the out of my car, aren't I? Hell, dude, I gotta get a trailer so bad because this is just terrible. This ain't gonna work. Oh, God. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I need a different system real fast. I got all this crap that I gotta set up. I mean, my brother's smart with his. Shit. He literally throws it in the back of his car and hauls off. He's trying to throw this on top. It's almost impossible. Oh, son of a Come on. Great. I got a drive. Might help if I took off my parking brake. There we go. Car shut up. Come on, scoot forward. Where the f is he going way out there? Dude, this lake is so gross. It's real murky. I'll just drift along and throw out a swim bait. It's finally clear. We've been having like straight days of either flooding conditions or humid heat index feeling like 90. So it's probably probably been screwing with the fish a little bit. Just all the inconsistencies and how everything's been screwing with the oxygen level we also had a weird winter where most of the weeds that normally die off uh they just didn't quite get cold enough so there's a lot of them that didn't really wither away so a lot of these lakes are just slammed with thick weeds I mean, i'm marking some there's structure too so you just gotta find them Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Calm now. Come here. Yeah. All right. Got our first little one. Yeah, that's why I need an anchor trolley. I don't have to deal with this. Oh. Damn it. Where are you going? I gotta get a sinker. Man. You gotta get some, uh, well, you're up high enough. You don't need any scuffers, huh? You got kind of a hole in there. I, I ordered some scuppers. I don't think they work that good. Uh, you gotta buy good ones. Dude, the ones I got weren't good? I don't know, I ordered some Yak Attack ones. What's that mean? Yak Attack is, I guess, like the main... Do they have a string through them, though? Yeah. Uh, see, they don't stop long. Well, it's a string on top, not on the bottom. Yeah, but mine don't work. I don't know, they're supposed to be you the know best. You I've done to mine, dude? I can soak on them, cock them. But really, the last two times I've been out, I haven't needed them. Well, yeah, it's warm enough now, but you need. Yeah, but if I'm wearing my waterproof shoes when it's colder, it, I'd be fine. You bird. Be nice, dude. Just be able to nail some fish, dude. Oh, oh, I had one. You let go. It's so using, using this white, pink, and green. It's so weird. All year, 
most of the fish I've been catching have just been on little jigs like this. For some reason, bigger baits just aren't working. Then again, it's probably just me not knowing what I'm doing because there's been some guys that are nailing like 20 pound, plus pounds of bass every day. So, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll learn what the hell I'm doing. Hey, so today would be in day one of trying out the new kayak, the Old Town Top Water Angler uh, 10 foot six, trying to get it on the fricking roof and off. I learned one, someday I gotta get a trailer because this is, this is the biggest pain in the world. We got a couple good bass. Not really, they're not good. They were skinny, um, not very long. Max was maybe like 12 inches pretty lightweight but you know still fun learned I gotta rearrange my tackle a little bit because I was looking for Ned rigs couldn't find them trying to figure out where all my crap was so I got some reorganizing to do but we'll figure it out uh, I'm gonna try and hit the water again tomorrow morning and go from there <laughs> 